I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Heather Crawford. We are learning more tonight about a traffic stop in the arrest of Lakeian Woods. It's a Jacksonville case that has made headlines around the country tonight. Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters held a briefing as he released this video from last Friday and Sheriff Waters says this all started after he ordered officers to find out who is responsible for the shooting death of a three year old at the JTB apartments more than a week ago. Our Taylor Levesque is on your side tonight. She's joining us live and Taylor. How did officers cross paths with Woods and the other men involved in all of this? Well, the sheriff said that while officers were patrolling the area of Toledo and Powers Avenue, they came across a group that had crossed paths with someone of interest in that shooting. Officers say they watched uh, uh, Woods and other men before pulling over that car. Here's a video of that stop. On Friday, Jacksonville Sheriff's officers pulled over this truck after conducting surveillance in the area of Toledo Road and Powers Avenue. The officer is holding the men in the truck at gunpoint. The driver and passenger comply with officers' orders, but Lakeian Woods gets out and starts to run, and an officer chases after him. I'm gonna tase you! I'm gonna tase you! Woods trips multiple times as he is running from the officer, who deploys the taser. Get on the ground! Woods is tased and falls forward. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says this impact caused bleeding and swelling to Woods' face. As Woods resists, another officer comes to help. He repeatedly knees Woods in the upper body. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Chief of Professional Standards Mike Shell says Woods was resisting and the officer used force to gain control. Give it a hand! Give it a hand! One officer holds Woods' head down while another attempts to handcuff him. The officer then flips Woods over and strikes him repeatedly. Woods, visibly bloody, still resists, and another officer elbows him in the face. Sheriff TK Waters says officers did use force against Woods, but says they acted appropriately and within department policy. All force, all violence is ugly. And just because force is ugly does not mean it is unlawful, or contrary to policy. But Sheriff Waters says the cell phone video taken of Woods' arrest by someone nearby was intentionally altered to imply one of the responding officers kicked Woods as he was handcuffed. He says this is not what happened. It looked like he was either stretching or he hurt it. So we did this for a couple of times and then he turned around. When he turned around, he just did this and it looks like the video was reversed to make it appear he had kicked the individual. This is the mugshot of 24-year-old Lakeian Woods after he was arrested Friday. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says he is affiliated with a local undocumented group connected with violent crimes. Woods is on felony probation for a prior armed robbery. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says this remains under administrative review, but the officers involved are still on duty. Live in downtown Jacksonville, Taylor Lovac, First Coast News, on your side. Taylor, thank you. Calls for justice filled Bay Street as people rallied on the steps of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. This video is from a short time after Sheriff Waters briefing this evening. Right now, there's a petition in connection to the arrest. It's garnered more than 2,800 signatures within the past day. Why didn't they show the whole body worn cam video? And there was more than one. You had various officers out there. Why don't you release everything so that we have a full picture of what happened? Now, Woods is being held on $170,000 bond facing several charges, including armed drug trafficking. His next court date is scheduled to happen three weeks from tomorrow.